term that I came up with while trying to explain castles to people is common lines of damage. Basically, it's referring to the phenomenon that a Zerg's engage has uh, roughly a certain width and in some cases a certain length. And within that range, the area is dangerous and ideally deadly. But outside of that range, the radius of, uh, sorry, outside of the radius of the engage, the threat is essentially non-existent. Um, understanding this is particularly relevant in castles where the defenders tend to stand in very specific places and the attackers tend to attack from certain very specific places, but that's covered in my castle video. In the open world, it's a little more complicated and a lot more messy, but we can still use the idea to our advantage. So let's explain what I mean a little bit better first though. So when a Zerg engages, particularly a good Zerg, they will be looking to coordinate their damage onto the same targets to maximize their damage. They're going to sprint in, land a Camlin or two, and then try to kill the clump that it makes. This means the width of their engage is about the width of the Camlin. By which I mean, if you are more than the radius of a Camlin away from the person who gets hit and who their damage gets focused onto, then you will usually take no damage at all, or very little, as some spells kind of go wonky and people are bad at aiming and whatnot. Uh, or sometimes there's like errant melee players, or if they're engaged, kind of wild and unfocused, then it'll be very wide. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that Albion shot calls are usually not very complicated. It's usually just yelling to engage in a certain direction with a timer so that everyone's on, you know, does it at the same time. So if you have eyes on the enemy tanks, you can watch which direction they're going, and before they even pop their night helms or sprints, you should be able to tell which direction they're going to go. Just draw a straight line from that tank into your Zerg and make that line the width of a Camlin, and bam, there's your common line of damage. If you're outside that, you're golden. If you're in it, well, hopefully you're a tank or you have your res bot up. Uh, I did mention that the engages have a length to them as well. This is easiest to see if you're playing a melee character or a tank, but essentially the range DPS of the enemy Zerg can only be so far away in order to land their damage onto the clump. If their weapon is something like a Wailing or a Mist Piercer, then the beginning of the damage starts at their feet and goes forwards to the clump. If you're right behind them, you aren't going to take any damage. Uh, at least until they're done with their engage, and then, you know, they walk back, they get in position, and they start to Q you and W and whatnot. Hopefully your side survived the counter engage, otherwise you're in for a rough time. The point of all this is that you need to understand when you're safe and when you're not. If you're safe, you can afford to step up in a position more aggressively. If you're not safe, you need to pop your defenses as soon as you see the enemies. Of course, everything starts to get really messy once there are multiple Zergs running around, because what was once a safe location can quickly become a dangerous one if you aren't able to keep track of all the parties.